Hi, and welcome to the lecture. Okay, so now we're going to cover point binding. Point binding, as well as layer binding, is really simple, really easy to do. Okay, so I'm going to add my bones, add bone, bone tool. You guys should be pretty much pro at this by now. All right, and what we're going to do is we're going to go in, same thing, alt right click, and I'm going to select the layer. Okay, this is the point binds uh, or bind points tool here. I'm going to highlight that. I have my lasso mode on. By default, it's going to give you a, you can't really see it, but it's going to give you this little rectangular box. I always have my lasso mode on because there's some points that I select, some points that I don't type of thing. But with that bone selected, with B on the keyboard selecting that bone there, you're going to select all these points and hit bind points. Or you can hit spacebar on your keyboard. Okay, the next thing that I'm going to go to is his forearm bone. And same thing, I'm going to alt right click. That's going to select all those points. I on my keyboard is the keyboard shortcut for the bind points tool. Select all the points, bind those points. All right, select that last point there, alt right click. And I'm just going to drag everything out. I on the keyboard, oops, and bind points. And just like that, oh, one more thing before I manipulate it. Let's go ahead and let's shrink down all of those bone strength there. It's weird. The last one will not shrink. There we go. Okay, so all those are shrunk down with the manipulate points, uh, manipulate bone tool. Sorry, I keep on calling everything points. Manipulate bone tool. You're just going to go in. Whoa, okay, so something's really weird here in his hand. Let's go back to his hand. Let's make sure that is manipulated. And the way that you can tell it, wow, that's weird. It should be. So the way that you can tell is when you select the bone, all of these points are going to be like bigger, darker squares. And that's going to tell you if it's, if it's controlled by that. So I'm just selecting all the other points, make sure nothing else is controlling it. This should be the only one. Interesting. So it looks like I accidentally used my forearm to control those points. Uh, so let's go ahead and fix that. Yeah, I did. Okay. So to do that, I'm going to go to my bone and release layers and points. Okay. So this, I will go into this. This is, this is going to come in real handy knowing this right here, whenever you're rigging, I did not know this and I'll go through each of these because it's so important. Okay, so go back to this bone and let's go ahead and make sure that is correct. Make sure that is correct as well. And it is, okay. Let's manipulate everything. Perfect. So there we go. Let's go ahead and just take that out. All right, so that is the bind points. Okay, so that is working just as it would with the bind layer. It's working perfectly, okay. So that is bind, that is how you bind points in Anime Studio. It's so easy to bind things. Um, and then in the next lecture, I'm going to be using a combination of both the bind points and the bind layer. Okay, because there's different ways that you can use this. This arm won't be a very good example, but I am showing you these examples because we will be using <clears throat> almost all of these binding methods to bind our lumberjack character here. Okay. So I will see you in the next lecture. Let's go ahead and bind some points and layers.